Let's now have a brief summary of eicosanoid production. Eicosanoid production starts from the phospholipid bilayer of the cell membrane, where phospholipase A2 catalyzes the release of arachidonic acid from the phospholipid molecules. This 20-carbon polyunsaturated fatty is the main source for all biological eicosanoids. Arachidonic acid can be engaged in either prostaglandins and prostacycline or leukotriene production pathways. The cell membrane phospholipid is degraded by phospholipase A2 enzyme to release arachidonic acid, which is modified by cyclooxygenase isoenzymes, COX-1 or COX-2, to produce the transient PGG2, which is rapidly reduced by peroxidase enzyme to PGH2. The PGH2 is a direct precursor of all prostanoids, such as thromboxane, prostaglandins, and prostacycline. Arachidonic acid could also be engaged in leukotriene production pathways which is started by the action of 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce intermediate 5-HPETE, which is further modified by the same 5-lipooxygenase enzyme to produce leukotriene A4. LTA4 gives rise to either LTB4, LTC4, LTD4 or LTDE4. Then these leukotrienes bind to the cellular receptors to induce various biological effects. This video was narrated by Alexandra Daniela, King's College London, KCL University.